Before this video starts, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also click the notifications bell to stay updated with my uploads. Yo guys, what is going on? It's Marcus or Big Marks and I'm so, so sorry. It's been such a long time since I uploaded my last video. I can only apologize for it over and over again, but I'm back with a bang, ready to show you guys a very, very special video. Right, so as you can tell by the title of this video, we are gonna be building a ridiculously overpowered squad builder. Now this squad's gonna set you back between 1.3 and 1.4 million coins. Uh, and it was actually built by a professional player on FIFA 18, I had a little bit of help from him. Uh, I gave him the amount of coins that I had as my budget and he went ahead and made this team for me. I've been playing with it and it is absolutely insane. So that player goes by the name of Hashtag Ryan. He's also got his own channel as well. So I would definitely, definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and check that out. Uh, he's put up his first video. Uh, by the time you see this, he's gonna have a couple videos out already. He's an insane, insane player. He's also qualified for season one of Foot Champions. Uh, he went, I think he got back to back 40 and O's as well. He's a ridiculous player. You're going to see some really good videos from him, rewards, um, you know, tips and tricks videos. He's a really, really good player. Definitely someone you can learn from. So make sure you check out his channel. But uh, yeah, I came to him with the budget that I had, told him who, what players I wanted to use, and this is the team he built me. So we're going to jump straight into it. And we've got in goal. 87 rated Handanovic. Now this guy's made me ridiculous, like, ridiculous saves. Like honestly, I I kind of disregard him as like one of my go-to goalkeepers, but I'm telling you, he's really, really good in this game. Uh, at left centre back, I've gone with Kula Bali. Now obviously here, if you do have more coins, you can go ahead and get Chiellini, but uh, that's kind of out of my budget right now. I'm trying to grind out squad battles and also do well in foot champs to try and get the money to get Chiellini. Uh, right centre back, we have gone with Manalas, a very, very solid centre back as well. Probably one of the most overpowered I've used so far. 19 shooting, not sure what's going on there, but 83 physical, 86 defending and 80 pace as a centre back. That is really, really good. Now over at right back, we've got one of my favourite players, uh, Florenzi. Now this guy, he has stats of a central midfielder. Look at that, 79 shooting as a right back, 85 pace. I used his card and his inform last year, which was really, really good. Same thing on this game a really good player very very solid over at left back guys we have got in form i think you say his name i think it's pronounced Gollum. Uh, i'm not too sure also if you guys want to copy the chemistry styles on screen then go ahead and do so uh, again all of these tips were given to me by ryan so a massive shout out to him but we've got inform Gollum or Gollum at left back 82 pace obviously you've got a shadow on him so that increases his pace and his defending He's a pretty solid player as well, I must say. He's got a very decent left foot on him. I took a shot, I think it was in squad battles, got a ridiculous long shot with him, which was really good. Uh, at left center mid, guys, we are gonna go with the man, Pogba. Now, this guy cost me about 500K. His shooting, I can say firsthand, at 79, it's, it's awful. Like He might as well have 19 shooting, the same as Manalas. But uh, he can put it away sometimes that it just, from Pogba you expect a lot better but his physicality on the pitch is absolutely insane I must say definitely makes a difference getting in those tackles and he's just a really good player at central center mid we're going to go with Bakayoko we know how solid and overpowered this guy is absolutely ridiculous card in this game 73 pace 81 defending 83 physical uh, I put him at CDM in game but we'll get to that later on at right center mid as you probably saw already we've got nine Golan I do have a lone one actually I didn't even realize that but Nine Golan, also a very good player in this game, bombs up and down the pitch, high, high work rates, 78 pace, 81 defending, 80 shooting, 83 physical, a very, very well-rounded card. I think his inform is part of Club 80, where uh, all of his card stats, like right there, uh, are 80 or above, which is a really ridiculous card. Bought him for 190,000 coins. Over at right forward, guys, we've got Dembele. Uh, I've kind of been on and off with this guy. I started using him at the start of the game and then I kind of went off him and said he was rubbish but he's really really good uh, he's got five star skills five star weak foot definitely a player you guys would want to get your hands on he's quite cheap at the moment as you can see there 20,000 back when I first had him he cost me about 40,000 coins uh, so yeah he's a really good player to pick up at left forward we've got Martial everybody and their nan knows how overpowered this card is he is absolutely ridiculous you'll see the amount of goals to games he's got there on the screen cost me 40,000 coins there four star skills four star weak foot he is so so overpowered same as last year glad nothing's changed there because he is a really really good player now striker guys we have got the main man luis suarez we all know this guy he loves to take chunks out of people's arms he loves to have a cheeky bite here and there but 
on this game, he is a quality, quality player. Um, I really wanted to use him. I actually told Ryan this is the guy I wanted to make a team around. And uh, he has not disappointed me, to be fair. He's, I don't, wouldn't say he's the fastest player in the world, but he's there in the right positions at the right time. Uh, you'll also see his goals to games if you want to. But bought him for 500,000 coins as well. So he costs about the same price as Pogba, but a very good physical player as well. And yeah, he, he's just in the right spots at the right time. Good shooting, good strength as well to hold up the play and also, you know, pass it on to the two wingers who will be supporting him in behind. So right now, guys, you guys are going to be watching some clips of me, probably in Foot Champions. Uh, I guess that's the best example to show you guys of this squad playing against good players and uh, playing in the most competitive game mode in FIFA. So you're going to see in the clips I do score quite a few goals. Like if you're struggling to score, like build this team, honestly, it is absolutely insane. And also, uh, you can if you like 4-3-2-1, which is the set formation in uh, this team, then go ahead and just keep it the same. But if you're like me and you like playing narrow like I wasn't a fan of it before whatsoever uh, but now playing with this team like I'm a very big fan of playing narrow so I changed to 4-1-2-1-2 in game and I'll show you on the screen what it looks like as well uh, you guys will probably just if you want to you can copy it just literally pause the game at the start and just go into it like this this is how I played my foot champions games and it worked out or it is working out right now really well I think I'm currently 9-1 and one. Uh, I played 10 games on the Friday and uh, the one game I lost I know it was my fault like there's nothing about it it's just me making silly mistakes which I need to eliminate if I want to be getting into those elite and also top 100 ranks so um, a star player in the team I'd have to say Martial like, I find he does score a lot more goals than Suarez but Suarez also does come up very clutch sometimes if I need a late goal he'll be there if I need a rebound he'll be there like he comes in very clutch me, but Martial is the GOAT, I will happily say that. I'm not going to sit there just because Suarez is higher rated and say that he's better than Martial, uh, but just in this team, Martial is the star man, surprisingly. Obviously, Suarez does cost a bomb, but I've kept him there purely because I don't think Martial would perform as well if Suarez wasn't there. The link up play between them two up front is ridiculous like martial has that pace to get through on goal and then also he can sweat it to suarez if he is there to support pogba very very good in central midfield very solid like i find his strength is absolutely insane that's the only reason why i've kept him because he's shooting i will say first hand is really not that great nine goal another solid player works hard all game absolutely amazing player bakioko we all know about him he's absolutely solid and yeah, the back line as well, I'm working on my defending. Uh, I've been given a couple of tips by the main man, hashtag Harry. Uh, he's been teaching me a couple of things. And my defense, uh, using this as well, I really want to upgrade to Alexandra and Chiellini. I think it would be very good uh, to strengthen my defense even more and hopefully concede a lot less. But um, let me know what you guys think of this squad. If you do go ahead and use it, make sure you drop down in the comment section below how you got on with it. And uh, yeah, I think that's really going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. Also subscribe to my channel for more FIFA 18 content. I'm going to have loads of challenges out. I kind of oh, I really want to do an ultimate team uh, series. So if you guys have any ideas for me, make sure you drop that down in the comment section down below as well. And uh, yeah, also don't forget to check out hashtag Ryan's channel. He is an absolutely insane player. I cannot stress it enough. Like he's going to be hopefully helping me out as well, trying to make me or help me improve my game. So um. Yeah, just go over to his channel, make sure you go and support his videos. And uh, yeah, that's really be it for me, guys. I've been Big Marks, and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.